Oops, <laughs> looks like you used different reference frames and stacked at different times. Let's get back to basics and align those stars. Welcome to SETI Astro. It's an easy beginner uh, misstep to do is to, uh, you know, maybe maybe take all of one channel one night, all of the next channel the next night, especially in mono. And you go ahead and, you know, stack them one day and then you stack the, the next the next day and you kind of left everything in auto. So now your, your images don't line back up anymore. Uh, not only are they going to be not cropped the same way, but the the rotation may be a little off too because the reference frames were different it's not the end of the world let's just go ahead and align them all quick and and move on with our processing and then just remember next time uh to use the same reference frame or stack them all at the same time so they all use the same reference frame so i have a, a whole suite of items here i have lrgb and h alpha uh, these were actually sent in from uh, a channel viewer and the first thing I, I tried doing was uh, use channel combination and I got an error right off the bat saying that uh, the dimensions were wrong and that uh, led me to know something's, something's not right. Playing the red and the green, you could see that there's, there's this rotation, right? It looks like, uh, you know, a time lapse of the night sky. So let's, let's go ahead and, and fix all these. It's really easy. Uh, no need to run WBPP or anything like that all over again. What we're going to do is go to process, all process, star alignment. Star alignment in this case is going to be very simple. We're just going to drag whatever reference frame we choose, whatever we want. You can just drag it over to the reference image. And then for the target ones, we could, we could add all our views. We'll just select all. They're all in there and uh, hit the hit the blue circle. It'll go ahead and uh, just start doing star alignments. It's going to rotate them all to match the reference frame. If it has to do any scaling, it's just like it was going through and uh, doing it in uh, WBPP for the registration process. So we'll come back when this is done. If you accidentally selected your reference image, you'll just get a little warning. Don't, don't worry about that and they'll all be done and they're going to be here listed as registered so all these ones that are listed as registered now are registered to our reference frame that we chose which in this case was the was the h alpha and now when we go ahead and look at them they're they're lined up and you can see the border has been shifted right because it had to it had to rotate them a little bit. It may have had to have resized and scaled just ever so slightly to make sure that they were all all in alignment. Uh, especially this this red one was quite a bit off. So now we can go ahead and, and close these other ones. Now it's going to be really important we go ahead and crop all these uh, so we don't have any of that that black border around that. Process all process dynamic crop. Let's just go ahead and, and do a, a fairly aggressive crop since we know that there's uh, some black border on on pretty much every one of them. Now, if we're going to do a bunch like this, uh, you could just pull off the uh, process like that. We can close that down, and we can just go ahead and drag and drop them one by one to uh, get them cropped. And there we go. They're all aligned back up. Uh, we kept it simple. We'll keep it basic here. Uh, no need to rerun your stacking or anything like that. It's just a matter of getting everything aligned back up. This could also be very useful if you're trying to combine images of different focal lengths, right? You could do star alignment to get the images to the same scale and rotation. If you're, I don't know, let's say you're trying to import uh, data from Hubble or Spitzer or one of those uh, professional telescopes and you want to do an overlay in your image Star alignment uh, could be used as well there to get those properly resized and rotated into your image. So There's a lot more that star alignment can do 
but for this simple case, just so you know, you're aware when you're starting out, this is this is an easy option. You should just go ahead and align your images back up. It'll rotate, resize them, um, adjust them to the proper size to to match that reference frame. I hope this is helpful. Please comment, like, and subscribe.